All right, guys, welcome to this edition of Inside the Friendly Confines. My guest today, legendary organist for the Chicago Cubs, Gary Preston. Ryan, Gary, man. Nice meeting you, buddy. This is great. Yeah, this pleasure is great to have you here, Thank man. You. Thank you. So you've been here forever as we cruise along here. 31 years. 31 years. <laughs> um, in August, if everything goes well, I'll be selling my 2,500 consecutive games. Wow, man. 2,500 games. How do you how do you narrow it down after 2,500 games and say, this was my favorite game? You well, gotta have one. Oh, I know I'll tell one. you, well, definitely last last year took the cake, the yeah. uh, sixth game with the Dodgers to get to the World Series. That was, that was just awesome. Yeah. But we've had other games, uh, playoffs in 98, in 2007 and 8 also, and 2003, that was an exciting year. Yeah. But now, nothing could top last year. I bet, right? <laughs> Knowing that final moment. There it is. There, man, look at that. Look at that gleaming. Huh? The sun's hitting it just right. <laughs> Golly, that's spectacular. Uh, for, a for a guy that sits on a bench, I get this. That's great. I know. It's amazing. <laughs> um, you know, when you're up there and your favorite time of the day, favorite time of the game where you're like, oh, man, I can't wait till this. Well, you know, I'm guessing it's the seventh it's, you, Thank you very much. It sure is. And uh, as you know, Harry, uh, I mean, <laughs> you did it a couple times and you did a great job. And it's so fantastic to meet all different walks of life. Yeah. I mean, you know, actors and actresses and uh, people in politics and Donald Trump even sang uh, in 2001. Yeah. I mean, so it's, it's great. Best seventh inning stretch singer that you've had up there? I would say Vince Scully. Yeah. He did it the first year in 1998, and he didn't do it after that, and he was like an Irish tenor. He did, he did such a sensational job. Yeah. And now you're going to go probably the other way, right? At worst. <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, the funniest one was Ditka. Ditka. When he uh, was a little late in coming, but he arrived in time. He sang it in a polka version. <laughs> and the thing is, we scored seven runs in the bottom of the inning. So it was like the new rock me. Rah, 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 rah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. yeah. So, and Ozzy uh, Osbourne, of I was course. going to say, Ozzy, if you could understand what he was saying. Well, he was singing it backwards. Yeah. So that's OK. You know. <laughs> but at the end, he did say, let's get some runs. <laughs> now, for me, I know you have a little, you love playing all kinds of different jingles, keeping the fans going in mm -hmm. between innings. For me, what would the song you would you would choose to play? Well, there was two. When you were a starting pitcher, it would be Stop Me Up. All right. And when you were a relief pitcher coming in, holding the lead, you could play Hang On, Hang On to What We Got. Oh, I like so, that. <laughs> that's no right. Canada for the Canadian guy. Well, <laughs> that's that's true. That that would have been the old Montreal Expos when they came in. That's right. <laughs> what about some other ones? Other favorite ones where you played and it reminds you of a certain player that you admire because you've been up there for a long time yeah. a lot of guys have come um, through mark grace i would play taking care of business because he was in the movie taking care of business and he would look up and give me the wave and that, that's so great uh ryan sandberg american's hero i would play and he certainly is and and it, it, i appreciate when the players actually know what i'm playing for them and, and, and they, they like that yeah yeah it's pretty spectacular and to think that many baseball games do yes. all that time right to see what Cheat, your team go to the World Series, play in the World Series. Unbelievable. Win the World Series. Isn't that something? I mean, you know, and believe me, when I first started here in 1987, we finished last. But that was Andre Dawson's MVP year. Yeah. And I would do uh, uh, the thing from Superman when he would bat. Yeah. So that, well, because he kind of was like Superman. You, you ain't kidding, especially that year. Right. You ain't kidding. And uh, so I've, you know, I've seen the Cubs finish last, and obviously I've seen finish up on top. and. I like the ladder better. <laughs> do, you, do you ever think like I'm just doing this until I don't I, I don't want to do it anymore? Do you do you sit there and say I want to do it for 50 years? <laughs> no, I don't put a number on it. Uh, as long as I enjoy it and the fans are enjoying it and the players enjoy it, and that's that's priceless. Uh, especially when I'm at the Cubs convention, they'll come up to me and say, "I was at this game and you played this little jingle for this player and I caught it right away." So I mean. That, that's priceless. It's all, that, I've, that been, I've been sitting in the stands, and you do hear it from fans. They almost play that kind of name that name tune. Name that tune, yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, Wait for it. Yeah, uh, the other day I got a, a note from one of the fans. I'm sitting in aisle 516. You played the Choo Choo Charlie song for, for Charlie Blackman. Well, hey, that's great. Thanks for listening. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's well, great. it's definitely entertaining. We always appreciate everything oh, well, you do. Your man. stretch is absolutely the best in the game. <laughs> Well, you know, it's fun. It's like I tell you, and uh, I appreciate that uh, I'm doing something I've always wanted to do since I was five years old. Yeah. Play the organ. Well, for professional team. I know that they say coming to Wrigley Field is an experience, and you're a huge part of that experience. Oh, well, so I thank you very much. Yeah. I really do. Thank you, Ryan. Absolutely. Very much. Absolutely. My guest, Gary Pressy, right here on Inside the Friendly Confines. We'll see you guys again.